let's see how much we ended up with here. Oh, we ended up with a little over two inches. Two, two inches and a tenth, it looks like. Wow, awesome. Awesome, awesome. Much needed. Alright, I'm going to go take a look and see how everything's doing. I've got to go pick up a car. And uh, so I'm going to take the three quarter ton, pick up the car, and check on what the roads and how everything looks after the rain. designed to be towed apparently. Dakota. I pulled up into Iowa or uh, Ohio, South Dakota. Never had an issue. Good to go. And again, that little Honda Civic back there is our go-to for, like if we're going somewhere, um, got to go a long way, don't need to carry a lot of stuff. It's been to South Dakota so many times it could probably get there by itself from Oklahoma. But uh, it's got about 300,000 miles on it and it runs like a top. Absolute perfect. Anyway, get it back with it.
know that you're going to be able to see them, but there they go. There they go, right up into the woods. A lot of them. <laughs> and that is the reason why I don't run hot wire down through here. Uh, it's fine right around our hay, but as you can see, I've got hot wire around the hay. But there are so many deer here. It's I've counted upwards of on this little place. I've counted upwards of 40 or 50 deer at a time. Um, I don't know how many times I've sat in a stand and seen at least 30 to 40 deer, different deer, not the same deer, but different deer. So whenever you got densities like that. And I know we need to knock them down some. When you have densities like that, it's it's hard to have like a hot wire being your being your main fence. Anyway, the forage over here. It looks like it's doing fairly well. There's a little bit of everything in here. So there's no fertilizer on this except for what the cows have spread there's a lot of clover and things in here uh, and i'm excited to whenever i get to move them back in here because there will be you know even even over in there they they can find a lot to eat so yeah they'll they'll be sitting good once i get over here i was i was hoping this little pond right here was a little a little more full than it is um it and it's misting right now it's of course i'm out of the truck so it's misting again but i was hoping that this one would have more water in it than it does but it's got more water than it had the other day for sure uh, uh, there's nothing really running into it everything that we got almost everything there was no runoff it, it just soaked right into the ground so a two inch rain it was a good soaker rain it just it just simply fell and soaked right in and did you know just perfect for that which is great now we do have a little bit of johnson grass in here there used to be some right there on that hill and there used to be patches of it right down here so there is some Johnson grass. There's some Bermuda over in the Mean Girls pasture. There's a little bit on top of this hill, I think from when dad fed a bale of Bermuda a long time ago and it took to seed. Uh, but everything else is, uh, you know, just native, native grasses. So yeah, whenever I turn them in, this part there's going to be you know they're going to be frolicking there's going to be a lot of a lot of eating and they are a few days out from being able to be over here because of gordon <laughs> gordon and his mama and i am keeping them separated there's a fence and a, pa a small pasture between them at that corner so they can't actually reach each other. And that's the reason why I'm doing that. But otherwise, the fence is all doing great that I put in. And uh, over here where I planted my grass, it's really doing well. And I can see it starting to spring back up in the woods up, up well up in the trees right here uh from where it started raining on it so yeah believe it or not just a couple of days and the rain uh has actually brought it back somewhat you can see it's a lot more thick on this side of the fence than it is on that side but it hasn't really been grazed over here anyway cattle up there and uh 
got the fish in the pond so this is just kind of a follow-up and and a rain follow-up and and stuff like that so yeah i'm excited to see whenever we get a little bit of sunlight on this what this grass does and uh stuff like that the pond isn't really the pond really hasn't gotten thick uh, deeper any more water in it i guess you'd say let me see if i can get in here my nemesis gates all right i want to look and see if this little spring right over here is running I flew the drone over it a while ago and it looked like it might have some water in it. So it's kind of a wet weather spring. Uh, when it gets really, really dry, it dries up. But when it rains, it'll run for, you know, three or four weeks sometimes. So I saw a little water in it. Like I said, from the air, And it is trickling. It really is. It's trickling. And all that trickle is going into that pond right over there. So, anyway, if, uh, if you like this kind of update, like and subscribe. And, uh, I'll continue to bring more content as it comes available. And as always, everybody, God bless. Little Danny, he is wearing out that cedar tree right there. Getting those flies off of him. And there goes number 20 going in there too. She's doing the same thing. <laughs> yep. Getting the flies off. <laughs> Frolicking. <laughs>